Okay, uh, let's see. So we are playing more monsters. Alright, let's fight these things. I don't remember having these things sitting around, but that's fine. I thought I already fought these guys. Maybe I didn't. It's been a little while since I played. So, uh... This is not the team that I meant to bring along here. But you know what? So be it. It's absolutely not the team I meant to bring along here. Uh, crap. Alright, whatever. We are here. Let's see. Drop that. I do have the regen thing. Yeah, it's okay now. Yeah, it, it always takes me a little bit to get my uh, microphone set up properly whenever I switch from one to the next. Because my headset is a lot quieter than my regular microphones, which means I have to crank it up. What I want to do is get a, uh... I, I would like to get a, a four audio mixer. Like a, a four track audio mixer. Because that would help. Oh. Is he just... Oh, he just resists magic. That's inconvenient. Let's see. Slime shot. Everybody resists that. This would do a bunch of extra damage to him. Maybe? But I gotta kill this cat if I can. Uh, let's see. Fire claws. Do a bunch of damage to him. Let's keep hitting this cat. Okay, hopefully it'll just freeze to death. Let's see, and he's just weak to physical in general. Let's work on this guy. Kinda works. Okay, so decent burst. I I figured I'd need Doggle, but we might be okay with this this combo at least for the mountain. I don't want to change up the the order though. Uh, let's see, it's a slime shot, back of ignite. Oh, I'm just gonna poison him. I don't actually think it's a good idea or particularly necessary. Uh, let's see, jewel blast. Oh, jewel blast is magical. I didn't realize. Uh, let's kill the Minotaur. If we can. I thought he was supposed to... I gotta check Dog's current setup. Because I was under the impression he was... Oh, and the poison killed him. Perfect. And we get another Minotaur egg. Let's see. Yeah, on a crit, 50% chance. I guess that's just... Okay. There we go, got it. That was all that for an almond. Feels weirdly unsatisfying. Also looks like there's another platform over here. This one's a lot easier to get to. Okay, so there, there's a lot to unpack in this place. Oh, but that's... that's a... that... Okay... Let me see... So if I just do this... That stays up perpetually? Yeah! So where does this go? Shortcut back to where we were? Well, I think I can slash through this... And spikes! Okay. This music sound. Oh. This music sounds very Hollow Knighty. Which I can't imagine isn't mildly to moderately intentional. Which I guess is kind of okay. I don't know. I'm a big. I'm a big fan of Hollow Knight. That. Let's see. So we want to go. We want to go over here. There we go. We get some wool. And we can get back up to this. Okay. I really like filling in the map like this. Obviously, it's not super important, and honestly, the rewards are... Uh, a little bit more minimal than I was hoping. I mean, the strawberry, strawberries and so on and so forth are kind of nice, but still. Okay, so we have week two, wind, water, fire. So we want to do choose monsters... 
I mean, it's halfway tempting to just roll Snekin's dog and ship again. Because we can set half these guys on fire. We can set him on fire. Let's see, how many game hours has it taken Wander to get to this point in the game? I could around 13, 14 hours when he hit a bit of a grind wall. Uh, then you probably quit somewhere around where I currently am, because I don't think I'm more than 13, 14 hours in. Now, oh, come on. I know, I know they can do that. It just feels cheap. Uh, let's see. Go for these guys if I can. Oh, level 13, 14. Honestly, as long as you're not switching your team around too much. I... You actually... I don't know. From my experience, for the most part, I actually have yet to really feel like I'm... Um... I'm grinding ever. I'm just fighting everything along my way and, like, ex fully exploring the area. And that usually keeps me at a fine level. Like, it's actually balanced pretty well. That is, that, uh, is to say... Uh, let's see, what do we... We should probably set this guy on fire. He's not exactly... Uh... Oh. Dude is freaking durable and I hate him. But that's besides the point. Uh, as long as you kind of see everything and you're not switching out what monsters you're using constantly... You're probably going to stay about the same level as the enemies you're fighting. At least from what I've experienced. Uh, let's see, Fire Claws. He resists physical, so I probably should have actually hit him with a Gem Rain. Now that I think about it, but whatever. It'll be okay. But maybe it's just me. I've had some pretty, like, just durable combos, so it's not so bad. Wait, no, we already got that. We've already been through there. So I guess let's just go back the way we came. Ah. Okay. So I want to go check out this area this time. So I actually hadn't I hadn't gone up here yet. Okay, so I need somebody that activates ice orbs. Well, I guess we're gonna wait for these to come back for a second. Let's see, is there a way to check playtime? Not yet. Uh, I will tell you shortly what my playtime is. Extra critical damage might not be bad. Otherwise, we should... At some point, we should level up his burning. Actually, I'm going to get double impact. I'm kind of surprised I hadn't picked that up yet. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? I'm not convinced if I want to use this Mogwai after all. He seems cool. Oh, that was a water orb. Also, there's, there's a safe spot. At least I'm pretty sure that's a water orb, not an ice orb. Okay. So we got it, we just gotta go back. And there's another... it keeps going up. Okay, and we also get rawhide. Hey! She did say we needed some rawhide. Uh, do we go up for... Do we go up for the old lady? We might as well. This area is tremendous. Yeah. Like, is this by far? No, I guess it's not actually that large of an area. It just feels big. Maybe the set pieces are larger. I'm just imagining things. Ah. Eh. 
I guess it kind of would make sense. It is a mountain. But still... Okay. I'm trying to think of how you could, like, mitigate a grind wall. I mean, really, if it's a serious problem... <laughs> okay. You found some rawhide. I know you want me to make warm water for you. Yes, alright. Just wait a moment. Let's see. All right, I hope you like it. I made it specially for you. Stay as long as you like, or you can go and test out your new warm underwear by diving into some icy water. Just don't forget to visit me from now and then, okay? Speaking of uh, cold water, we actually do have some, like, down to the bottom of one of these areas. I guess I'm going to head down that direction. Let's see. But yeah, if the grind is a serious problem, I will admit there is... Uh, it's like a hacked DLL file that unlocks cheat mode for this game. I haven't used it yet, other than just knowing that it exists. But, uh, you can use the hacked DLL file to... Okay, here we go. Uh, to activate, like, the cheat mode. And what it does is it lets you, like, s just straight up skip fights and stuff. Oh, boy. I don't know how you're supposed to do this one. Maybe if I had a bird, but... Pipes. It's also one of those where a lot of the, uh... A lot of the water area, area things... Oh, damn it. You can just set, uh, stepping on that resets the whole platform. I'm just gonna reset that for the time being. You do the second jump after catching yourself with the bird. Yeah, but that would turn off the light. Which I kind of don't want to do. Oh. So we now have access to that shortcut. I was wondering about that. Eh, we might as well fight the Mogwai as we go by. They're super weak to fire, and that actually... ...makes this group pretty dang effective. Because we can... Uh, we can ignite. Question, does that extra 50% hit work on these guys? It kind of does. It kind of doesn't. I'm just going to kill this one. I know we could go for the extra shielding, but I'd rather have one less Mogwai in the, uh, in the mix, comparatively. Oh, man, they hit like trucks. Let's just do Mass Restore. Well, one of them died. Ow. Don't know which is more useful. Unfortunately, Mass Restore, not a whole lot of... Not a whole lot of healing, unfortunately. Let's see, a Shuriken plus three... Dang! Isn't that, like, really good for some of these guys? That's really good for him if I feel like it's worth it. Okay, and Doggle got a skill point. What do we give to Doggle? Double impact's kinda nice. Life overload's kinda nice. Life ward, cascade. I guess we might as well get that. I'm not entirely convinced that's the optimum decision for Doggle. But Doggle's also one of the monsters that we're going to be evolving. And so, I don't know if it matters too much yet. 
Okay. So we're looking for water. Oh, ice. Guess it's a good reason to come down here and check. I don't think I've... I don't think I saw that. Which is weird, because I would have had to go straight past it, but... Oh, well. Hello. So these guys are weak to water, but physical water. And lightning. Or no, no, magic water. Which is to say, no one on my team does that. Uh... I'm just gonna go with this... this combo. More buffs! Make ships stupid powerful. Let's see, we could just pop a second regeneration. I'm probably just gonna do fire shield. It's expensive. It's worth it. Okay, let's immediately go for the Mogwai. Let's see, the music in this game is so hypnotic. I find it very chill. I'm not sure if hypnotic is necessarily the word I go with. But it is definitely the kind of music that, like, does slowly put me in a super sleepy mood. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, let's see, slime shot. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna poison him. Okay, so those buffs do work. I was I wasn't sure if dogs like on crit 50% chance to buff person. I, I wasn't actually sure if that was triggering or not. Cause it didn't seem like it earlier, but it turns out I was wrong. Okay. I'm really looking forward to so after beating available content you unlock it's either light and dark or just uh or it's just dark versions of monsters. Which people in chat last time were alluding to, saying that, like, yeah, there's there's stronger versions that you can get somehow. I'm looking forward to seeing how that factors in, sort of. It's going to be kind of unfortunate to go recatch every single monster that I already have to get a, uh... To get the dark variants therein. Hey, so there's the warp point. I'm going to go back to the uh, sanctuary for a second. Let's upgrade our stuff. Okay, so we can upgrade the cape. I need a lot more crimson gems. Anything else that I immediately want to upgrade? I'm sure. I'm sure there's a bunch of things I want to do, but this is okay. And let's go down to this guy. I've got some eggs for use, good sir. I get a mass, mass potion. I'll take my spare mogwai eggs. Now, I've already got the minotaur. And we get a bunch of... We get a bunch of things. Cool. That is one hell of an army. I feel like that's some. this is somehow going to turn around and bite me in the ass at the end of the game. Somehow. Hail! Keeper Lancer Gash Slashing. Beautiful lake, isn't it? Say the Frozen Oracle resides in a cave beneath the icy water. She only reveals herself to the brave and worthy. Oh, watch out! Don't step too close to the water, you might fall in. I don't have to tell you that it's deadly to take a swim in the icy water, right? Unless you got some mighty warm clothes on you. But they don't look like it. Oh, you've already gotten some warm clothing from the clothes maker. Alright then, I hope you find some treasure. Don't drown while you're down there, question mark. Let's see, if I min min-maxed a party of monsters yet. I've got a couple that are pretty dang viable. I see you've come to tread on the doorstep to Oblivion, young keeper. Oh, it's the Oracle. You know of the dangers that lurk in the forlorn places of the sanctuary. 
And yet you seek them out. I've watched you as you traverse the snowy peaks, and even before that Spectral Keeper Gash slash him. I think I remember visiting this place with one of your ancestors, Gash, but I don't remember this strange apparition. In another life, I used to be called by a different name, but now I'm known only as the Oracle of the Snowy Peaks. What are you exactly, and why do you haunt this place? I am a lost soul that wandered the oceans of the world for years beyond count. During my natural life, I had seen the world turn into darkness before my eyes. When the sanctuary was created, it was as if a triumphant beacon lit up in the middle of the Black Sea. Hope returned to the world, and that's why I'll always watch over the sanctuary, and if need be, I will intervene in the course of its fate. The last time I revealed myself to a keeper was almost 300 years ago, when the sanctuary was in great danger. But we failed. The man who had turned himself into an undying devil escaped our grasp, and he still seeks to corrupt the sanctuary. With lies and sweet promises, he has turned several keepers over to his cause. I do not know how many have joined his ranks. Gash Slashem, you've already shown great bravery on the path that led you here, but I need you. I need to be sure that you are the one that will save the sanctuary from this devil. Do you believe that you are ready to face the Oracle's challenge? Yes. Come forth, noble beast. Test this keeper's spirit through combat. It is... A land orca! Okay, it is weak to... Light. <sighs> well, I don't have a particularly good setup for this, but you know what I do have? I have one punchy boy. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to set him on fire. Poison armor break and burn. That's pretty dang good. Well, shit. We're gonna have to come back and try this again. Yeah, bringing the guy that's... weak to, uh... magic along might not have been the best option here. I'm the main problem is I need to chill him. And if he ice bolts my, uh... My dude, I'm in trouble. Having a restore would have been smart. But, you know what? Okay, we've now sufficiently chilled him. And we're good. This is definitely going to have to be one of those bosses that I refight, though. Ow! God damn, he hits like trucks. Well, let's keep doing Life Wave. It buffs everybody, so who cares? And I don't know if there's any other debuffs that I haven't jammed on this guy at this point. Doesn't look like it. We are not critting him to a satisfactory level yet. On the plus side, he's pretty much... Pretty much down for the count, kind of, sort of. He's got every debuff that I could possibly jam on him, which is nice. Ugh. It just takes forever to kill, too. There he goes. Okay, well, I four-starred him. 
Yeah, my healthiness was fine. I think if we had just gone a little bit faster. Oh, we get a fin from him. Health, crit, and crit damage. Ooh. That's really good, actually. You have bested the shaman beast, Aklut. You have proven your force of will, as well as your bravery. I shall give you all the aid I can, and I trust that you will use my gifts to save the sanctuary. He lies hidden in the deepest point of the sanctuary. Once you have this key, you will know what to do. To enter the deepest domain of the sanctuary, you will need to collect all of the sanctuary tokens that are hid across, hidden across the sanctuary. To find the sanctuary tokens, you will need to travel to the most remote, remote corners of the sanctuary. I can give you only one of the sanctuary tokens. I know that there is another sanctuary token in the Sun Palace, which lies west of the Blue Caves. It's all I can tell you. Come back here any time you wish to hear of these things again. Go now. The fate of the sanctuary depends on you. Oh. And she also had a carrot. But yeah, I was not expecting a uh, four-star out of that one, to be honest. I'm not convinced I deserve it. Okay. So get some bronze. There is an area above us. I'm not sure if I can get up there. That would take some hella jumping. There's got to be something else that I get at some point that lets me do that. Okay. Just going to double check some of these. Already got that one. But yeah, there's a couple of rooms I haven't been in yet, too. Oh, that's not implemented. Okay, we haven't been over here yet. Okay, so these guys are weak to physical. And... That's fine, actually. Yeah, they're weak to the tackle, but honestly, I'm going to set them on fire. I'm just going to I'm just going to set them on fire for durability sake. And we're just going to punch that guy. But yeah, maybe there's a monster ability or a triple jump that we get at some point. Or maybe I can in fact cross it. I don't really know. Okay, set this guy on fire. They almost absolutely d destroyed Dog. I should probably go for regen. Uh... Hopefully he lives th through this one. I'm oh, wait, no, no, we do have a mass restore. Okay, so we do have a heal. Let's do regen. Mass restore. Unfortunately, dog is not... Uh, or not dog. Uh, Sneckens is not a particularly good healer, comparatively. He is... Mostly vaguely adequate. And that's about it. And now he's poisoned. Mass restore again. Become healthy. Maybe we'll just kill that guy. I don't really care about five starring th this fight, because like, yeah, it's not gonna do it it's not gonna do me any good. Oh, that hurt him. Okay. We skill points for snacks is actually a lot of skill points. So yeah, that might be worth it. Cause what else we got? Better ignite, better tackle. Mana regenerator is kinda good, but it's not really that important. Yeah, we'll get that. 
just so he's a slightly more adequate healer. Uh, let's see. We did get consecutive strikes. We could do magic proc, but that's going to do no damage. Uh, we can do exploit. Let's boog it. Not a terrible idea. And Mog. I can still see turning Mog into this horrid super crit cannon situation where he just one shots one monster per turn. But I'm not convinced it would work out that well. It would be a mild waste of my time. Okay, so we got Orum Tails again. Do we do we do we want to bring Sneckins along? Nah, let's bring Doggle, Dog, and Chip. Doggle's just nice for that immediate starting support. Uh, let's see, do we do fire shield? We'll do fire shield. It's nice to be able to burn your enemies. Oh, that's nasty. I didn't even think about it, but... Ow. Let's see, what do we do? Life wave or full defense? Full defense! More buffs. Let's see. We're gonna set the snail on fire. The snail is an inconvenience and I don't like it. Okay, let's go for this guy. Let's see. Play the demo in Monster Sanctuary. What's your current thoughts on this version? I mean, straight up, if you played the demo, if you liked it, then you're going to like this. If you didn't like it, you're not going to like this. It is effectively the same game with just a lot more content than what the demo had available. And for me, that's perfect. But for other people, it might not be. I missed. I meant to hit the other guy, uh, the gem snail, but I goofed. Not a big deal, but still. Uh, let's see. But yeah, none of the mechanics have overwhelmingly changed since, uh, since the demo. There's just a lot more monsters, a lot more interesting abilities, I guess? Uh, let's see, so if I Jewel Blast that guy, yeah, it'll actually do a decent chunk of damage to him. And there he goes. Now, hopefully the Orum Tail just burns to death. Nope. Damn. I've never seen a game that is more consistent than this. I would say. Like, I really appreciate just how, like, finely tuned the difficulty curve is. Which is to say, wow, I... Oh, I probably had stupid overkill or something there. I was not expecting a five-star on that one. But I guess I got it. Okay, gonna need the bird for this one. Okay, might need this. That is a toughie to get up to. It'd be worth it. Leather? Leather? Leather. Okay, there's a crimson gem at least. Okay, so is that it for this area? With the exception of the one section I probably can't get to. We'll run the bridge and see if there's anything over there. 
I'm just going to skip these guys. I don't need to do it. Let's see. Man, I don't know where I went wrong. Uh, you mean like playing this game and hitting the grind wall? Could be a lot of different factors. Uh, not all team comps are made equally, unfortunately. Uh, so there's there's a possibility that... Nope. Uh, hi? Hi. This is sneaky as hell. I wonder how many other secrets there are going to be like this. I do have a cheat that lets me, uh... There we go. Scroll time, uh, scroll plus three. Okay, is that it for this area? Yeah, it looks like it. So in that case... I guess we wanted to use... Let's see, Crystal Shard. Let's go back. I wonder if I can buy these anywhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so let's give him the arm tail eggs. Looks like we actually have a couple of these. Okay, next up, I say we take a short detour. Uh, I want to go get that... I want to go get that weird multi-bird. There's also... Acklet. But I want Raduga. Okay, so... My only fear is if it goes lightning, I'm not going to be able to hurt it. But that's okay. Because we're going to do Doggle... Uh, not Boo. Boo is a mistake. Doggle, Dog, and Chip. We're just gonna slambo this bird into non-existence. Okay, so it is currently not weak to anything. Wow, that was actually pitiful. Okay, so let's do a light wave. I'd like to poison the thing. Let's see. This is resistant to fire? Yeah, it's currently resistant to fire. It seems to be less resistant to earth. Very weak to water. Okay. Yeah, this brib is a bit of a bit of a pain. I'm gonna just uh you know what? We're good for a bit. Let's set it let's poison it. I guess that was kind of a bad time for a poisoning, but that's okay. Let's see, probably fire claws? Probably fire claws. Okay, weak to lightning punches. Ah, uh, That's the one of his that's not very good. On the plus side, we're doing pretty well. Uh, let's see. So what do we do? Mud cannon, aqua blast. Let's do slime shot. get that combo multiplier going. We'll do Stone Rain. It's weak to fire currently. Okay, 
so that's a decent chunk of damage. I'm not necessarily betting on this one. Holy crap, that almost killed Doggle. Okay, so weak to Earth right now. Which means I don't have anything that's specifically going to harm this guy, unfortunately. Oh, straight up shows the... Ele well, that just sucks, but... I don't even know if this is worth it. Uh... Weak to water. That goddamn move. I mean, I got it. That was pitiful. Uh... He's also... I mean, we could try risking bringing Boo along. Wanted that bird. But that bird stinking sucks. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We have two strawberries. Almond. We have a hell of a lot of corn. A lot of grapes. Let's see. We have a lot of corns. Let's corn him up. He's crit damage. Mogwai doesn't have anything. Hmm. We have a skill potion. We could Let's use a skill potion on monk and dog. Oh, we could even get some of these up to a higher tier. That might have been worth it. Instead of exploit? The question is... Would I be better off getting, like, an extra 75% damage? Getting up to this tier. God, that gets expensive, though. I'm not sure if I'd be able to sustain that. I think I'm just going to get him lightning punches. So he has no immediate weaknesses. Uh, let's see. People consistency. Let's do Attack and Magic by its health. Unfortunately, that doesn't improve its defense at all. Which is unfortunate. I guess we did have Defense Plus that I could have done, but its defense isn't terrible. I'm going to chalk some of that up to RNG. We're going to... I'm going to take out that freaking bird. We also have Acklet that I'd like to take out, but... Maduga. 
be the one to do it with. It is mildly tempting to try and try again with Boo, maybe? But I don't think that's a good idea. So we're just going to go full support again. Let's do Fire Shield, because that'll set it on fire anyway. And none of these do any extra damage to him. Because, yeah, I think one of the, the main sticking points I ran into was we didn't get a whole lot of immediate crits. And that was kind of rough to work with. Let's see, do we do Life Wave? I can do Slime Shot right now. But if I did Light Wave, we get Life Wave, we get more buffs on everybody. Which is a very useful buff. So he's resistant. He's pretty resistant to fire. I can hit him with Jewel Blast. Okay, that's feeling pretty good. Okay. So... What do we do? Do full defense. Can't do that. Might as well do Fire Claws. More buffs for everybody. And he's super weak to wind. Okay, this seems to be working out really well in my favor. Until that happens. Let's do Fire Shield again. It bugs me a little bit that these guys are so capable of just one-shotting me. I guess this is why you need the chill buff so much. Because, yeah, it's mildly up to RNG on whether or not I get, like, totally bone zoned here. Well. I guess one thing I could also do. Nope. I don't really have a whole lot of immediate options. We're just going to full defense this guy. Let's see, what's he weak to you? No. Well, I guess if I use Dog much more as a, uh, as a shield machine, it wouldn't be so bad. Maybe. No, I don't think we're getting any better on this one. That freaking level 4 fireball is not okay. 1600 on one of my guys. Well, there it goes. We get four star. Because there's no way I could have protected against that. Alright, I give up. I'll come back again later. Maybe with dark monsters and chill or something. <laughs>